NASCAR Wheeland All-American Series champion, Steve Carlson. I started racing in 1975 at La Crosse Fairground Speedway. Um, I knew from the first race I ever saw when I was probably seven years old that I wanted to race. I just, I knew that's what I wanted to do. Um, I raced weekly at Lacrosse for uh, till around 1988, and then I started running the Arco circuit, Arco traveling circuit. Um, I was rookie of the year in '88, and uh, I think it was '90. I won my first championship. I'm a nine-time champion, and uh, when that series ended, um, I started racing again at Lacrosse Fairground Speedway, and uh, here we are, champions again. After more than 30 years of racing, Carlson isn't ready to pass the torch just yet. But with his son Michael joining him on the racetrack, he's more than willing to share. Sometimes when I race with Mike, I, um, I see things that he does, so I have a little talk with him after the race and say, you know, I, I think you should try this or try that. And um, he listens. He listens more to Kevin than he does to me. He's a lot like Steve as far as laid back, doesn't get excited and you know I'm a, I think Michael's gonna do all right for a mom it's it's real it's real nerve-wracking knowing that he's gonna go on now for probably brace for like 30 years or whatever whatever he wants to do and that's completely up to him whatever he decides we'll support him I feel like I can I can take what he's taught me and what he's done in years and put that to what I'm gonna do and and take everything that he's, you know, accomplished and, and try to do that or better. And um, on the final night, he, uh, the final Saturday night, he, he had it on his roof, skidding down the front straight on fire. It wasn't too much of a scary ride. It was, it was more like, uh, you know, that movie Ricky Bobby thinking, uh-oh, I'm flying through the air. This isn't good. Well, I'm upside down now. I mostly thought, can I fix it and get back out and race? Because uh, I wanted to go out and finish. It was only lap three. And... They stopped the field over in the corner, so I didn't, I didn't know any of that, um, what, was, what was going on, or I'd have probably jumped out of the car and went over there um, if I'd have known, <laughs> but I didn't, so. I actually topped him on that one. He's never been on his roof. Every time he gets in a car, I worry about him. So, and at that point, I'm thinking, that's my son. But then when he gets out and he does good and he's happy, he had a, had a good race and he finished good and, and I hear good things around the track, a lot of the drivers respect him already, then I think that's my son. Steve Carlson's name peppers stats pages across the Midwest. But what hides behind the name is even more impressive to those who know him best. He can be funny, he has a sense of humor. Um, some people say he's very quiet, which he is unless you know him. When you get to know him, oh, wear your seatbelt, because <laughs> it is a blast. He's a really neat person. I mean, if you just watch him a little bit, you know, from afar, he's, he's like he's really quiet, but <laughs> he's, he's a character is what he is. Steve was kind of an idol of mine. He's only two or three years older than me, but... You know, he paved his own road, ran all his own stuff, worked very hard at it, you know, so I got an awful lot of respect for him. He is a 20-year-old in a 50-year-old's body. He is just a blast. Yeah, what else can you say about him? He's not my dad. NASCAR Wheeland All-American Series Champion from West Salem, Wisconsin. Please welcome Steve Carlson.